Uh, Kero Fano, it's Jonathan Petty from the Food Bank, the online food bank in Gisborne and Tara Uh Today, I just wanted to introduce you guys to my, well, two minute ball up soup, I suppose that's what it is, um, and what my grandmother used to do way back in the day. Now, everyone used to have a ball up, okay? Yep, and we all got our special kind of what we want in that ball up. Uh, my grandmother Lydia, Kerodia, she used to um, love making mutton bird brought up with watercress, with potatoes and kumaras and whatever that she could find. Now, this was the interesting thing. Now, at the end of the kai, you know, sometimes there'll be some left over. What my grandmother used to do is pretty much put it in a whiz and whiz it all up and, and bag it all up like this. Now, in here is um, some ball up too, which is, so... When she used to make them up, she used to put them in the freezer and bring them out when we need it, like for soups. So today, um, and this one is, I had a ball up, which is uh, pork sausages. There's pork sausages, there's kumara, potato, and there's watercress in this one. Um, but I've got many others here. Um, you know, like these mutton birds, um, pork bones and puha and potato and kumara. But today, this is, um, so we had a ball up and there was leftovers of um, pork sausages, potato, kumara and um, watercress. So that's what's in here. So what you have to do, what my grandmother used to do, is put a, uh, you know, when we were all wanting that taste of ball up, and she used to always put the soup together. And with all the um, leftovers of a ball up, she used to just buzz it up and put it up into one of these. Okay, so... After the ball up, everybody had a kite, she supposed it all up and just packaged it up for like that. Which is, to me, it's a brilliant idea. So I've got some hot water on the go. Okay. So here we go. Just a ball up. And there's the um, sausage ball up. And you just put them in there. Um, drop it in there. All you have to do now for this one here uh we're going to cook it for two minutes but i'm going to add in so i made some little dough boys there we go just put them in there anyway, just put them in there like that just put them in there and little dough boys and we just put it back on to the oven we're going to add some bit of salt Easy as that. Okay, so that's my two minute ball up. Easy as. And my grandmother, and bless her soul, she's um, gone now, but I, you know, still miss her. But uh, she taught me lots about food and um, cooking. So that's what she used to do. Uh, after every big meal, there was always, there was always um, some ball up over. So yeah, she used to just get it, mince it all up. Um, was it one of these uh, bag it and then put it in the freezer and one thing about it is like sometimes she used to go what well, I want to feed I ball it but just wanted that taste and she used to go in mark them all up one was with um, as I said uh, pork bones and puha uh, pork bones and watercress, you had um, sausages and watercress sausages and silver beet um, you know, every single ball up she used to, um, at the end of the night, uh, whiz it all up and package it away and then mark it. And at any time, especially in wintertime, she used to bring that out and make sure that we had, um, yeah, ball up soup. Who would have thought about that? Because I was <laughs> I was thinking, oh gosh, what could I have to, which is quick and easy and I can eat and I can quickly put it together and have it. So there we go. And to tell you the truth, ball up is, yes, one of the most, um, you know, it's a Māori, it's, well, they don't they'd say it's a Māori food, but actually lots of cultures around the world all had a particular meal of their own, which was ball up. They just bought, boiled everything up. And the good thing about it 
it was a meal that could go around to everybody, everyone in the families, because they should know uh, a lot of families had big families and um, it was a ball up was a traditional meal to bring everybody together and feed everybody at one time but um now ball up it doesn't have to always be ball up because my grandmother used to always um, used to make ball up brawn so if you know brawn okay now just imagine uh puha or watercress in that brawn so she used to make brawn too after you know, if there was any um, honey left, um, ball up left over, she used to make brawn with that too. The other thing she used to do, she used to make um, ball up balls. So she used to squash it all up, squeeze all the juice out, um, put it in flour and egg, and then rub it up. And then she used to um, fry it too. Uh, and we used to have fried balls, a ball up. I didn't really know what they were until I kind of grew up and then understood that's what she was doing with all. Um, you know, if there was any leftovers, she, she was quite bright and clever around there. So we've got this, my, uh, the pork, uh, the sausages and watercress one going now. And look at that. Didn't take long, did it? So there's our soup with our dough boys. Let's plate up. Okay. Here we go. Got our dough boys. And then we've got our soup. And there we go. go my two minute boil up soup with dough boys there we go let's have a taste mm. so if you want that authentic boil up taste in your soup there we go okay take care and um hope you all had a great day bye